So Jack, as you know, we're here for the Esri Ocean Summit. And I could tell you what I would like to accomplish with this, with this very important meeting. It's the first time we've had this meeting mm. for our ocean uh, science and resource management community. That'd be good. And then maybe you could tell me what you'd like to, to see come out of it as a way of welcoming our, our guests here. Or I could tell you what I want, and then you could tell me what you want. Sure. Okay, yeah. you start. You're the boss. Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, you start. <laughs> okay. Well, as you know, this is our first meeting that we're having mm -hmm. with uh, ocean scientists and resource managers, bringing them here to talk about what they would like to see are, us. How, hello, all of you, by the way. Yeah, hello. <laughs> of course, you'll see me again in another 30 seconds, but, oh, I've already ruined it. Hopefully yeah. we can edit that out, sorry. <laughs> no, don't edit it. <laughs> so anyway, we are here so that we can listen to our colleagues about what are some of the major challenges to using ocean GIS. And as, he, as we know, uh, the oceans are critical to, uh, to climate change, to our daily lives, uh, our colleagues here work in all aspects of ocean science. Some mm -hmm. of them are geologists, some of them are ecologists. Uh, many of them are working with coastal marine spatial planning. They're doing geodesign in the ocean. And as part of our oceans initiative, we want to be able to serve them better. We want to be able to improve our products, our yes. services, uh, our approaches. We want to be able to listen to them. So that's why we're here to, to listen. That's cool. I mean. Let's see, it was 1980 we had our first users meeting. You weren't there. You weren't even born No, yet, I, I didn't even know what GIS was then. <laughs> <laughs> well, we invited 11 users. We had 11 user oh organizations my. to the little Montessori school. It's now moved off campus, but it was a time when all of us, literally all of us, got in a room that is all of ESRI, and all of our users got in a room and talked about what they were doing, and uh, they told us about our software, mm -hmm. which... Largely was homemade software. Let's just call it homemade software. That's a nice yeah. way to think of it. Not very good. It addressed a few things that they did. That's why they acquired it. Mm -hmm. um, and somehow ESRI changed at that meeting because they all got together and they're very nice. They said, look, it does this, but it doesn't do that, and it mm -hmm. doesn't have good engineering. And um, so they were very clear about it. And we made a on a whiteboard mm -hmm. a list of the top and second and third and fourth things that they would have us do. Mm -hmm. And they also, um, well, the, it, it created a little community among them and yes. in our relationship with us. Mm -hmm. I think for me, that's the one of the objectives I'd like to have happen here is the establishment of a community of GIS um, ocean mm -hmm. interests, uh, independent of us, but also um, telling us the highest priority, mm -hmm. second high, highest priority of things mm -hmm. that we need to work on. And we have, as you know, great engineers um, that, that uh, do mm -hmm. really great programming, but they don't have the workflow, science-based context that you guys have here mm -hmm. in the audience. Um, and so they need direction, and we need to have a conversation about that. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure some of you are going to be presenting here. You'll share what you're doing. Um, and, uh, and I want you to interact with both the SRI people, but also between and among yourselves, because we'll all just learn. Mm -hmm. In other words, we're not exactly quite right. sure. Uh, in other words, I'm not quite sure, Don, what you want to do. And we're not quite sure what the outcome of this will be in right. terms of, uh, we know that we're going to have terrific conversations. We do uh, need the guidance of the way that you've described the first meeting back in the 1980s, that's mm -hmm. exactly what we'd like to do here. Yeah, and so. there's something to do with 3D. There's something to do with mm -hmm. time. There's mm -hmm. something to do with fluid visualization. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something to do with 3D analytics. These are mm -hmm. very core functions that we need to actually evolve our tools, and we are, mm -hmm. uh, little by little, to do better. There's something about geodesign, the stuff that's happening at Santa Barbara, mm -hmm. uh, sketching, planning, planning for the oceans. There's something about um, modeling the science of the oceans. Mm -hmm. um, is that Oh, well, you hit it right on the really? head. Really? Oh. That's perfect. I'm liking you yes. more and more, really. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, I mean, you don't have to convince me about the importance of oceans. I, I'm with you. Yes, well, we're, we're doing this ocean uh, initiative because of your vision and because... I think it's uh, your vision. It's, well, I'm, I'm helping to, to implement the vision. She and talked it's a, me into getting hired. And it's a long hired. time in coming. <laughs> she talked me into getting hired here and uh, that's so that she could take advantage of what's here. Well, uh, this is... Uh, I, I asked you when we had lunch when I was interviewing here, 
Uh, I said, Jack, has our ship come in? And you uh -huh. said yes. <laughs> yes <it did>. So <laughs> this is one of the opportunities here where yes. uh, half, of, uh, nearly half of the participants at this meeting will be ESRI staffers. Mm -hmm. So we have developers, product engineers, people from sales and marketing, uh, international programs. Uh, we're all here across the organization mm -hmm. to listen and to interact and to, we all want to move forward in our in our thinking about these approaches and come up with some real concrete solutions. Yeah, maybe one way to conclude from my perspective is the oceans are vital for us. Mm -hmm. They're like our lungs in many ways. Um, and they're not, and, they're, and we're smoking. <laughs> we're killing them. We're killing ourselves. And mm -hmm. uh, in a small way, like we have done on, on the land or the green parts of the global map, as Sylvia talks about them, uh, we have made a difference there by integrating our tools into the workflows of how people do land use planning, forestry, utilities, all of that. We need to do exactly the same thing uh, in the ocean world. Mm -hmm. And uh, the problem is there's not as many participants that actually care about the oceans. Um, so we need to not only uh, figure that out more effectively mm -hmm. through cadasters for the ocean, but we also need to in equip um, you and other people all around the world with tools that actually will change the workflows and how we think about the oceans and how we act with respect to the oceans. And by the way, that often will have something to do with what's happening on the land, uh, because that, that's, that's the, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the big pollution source. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's where a lot it's, of us are going to be living over the next 50 years. where the fish years. is going. Mm -hmm. We're harvesting out the fish and eating it. We've got to figure out the same kinds of practices at a global level uh, that we have done on the land, like mm -hmm. national parks and uh, Exactly. And we, and we have uh, national parks out in the oceans and, of course, the whole National Marine Sanctuary System. New uh, marine reserves are being established all the time. Uh, there are not enough of them out there, of course, but... So I, I think, Jack, you've, uh, you, you understand our vision. It's part of your vision. And now I'm thinking that, gosh, we only have, this meeting is only two days long. I wish we had longer. But That's the way I life we're, is. We're inspired to go forward over these next two days. Yeah, and I mean, we, we, we have limited resources at Esther. You guys all have limited resources. Uh, how can we mm, go fast with what we've got and make a mm -hmm. difference with it? That's, that's, my, that's my goal. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Jack. Thank, thank you, you very Don. much. Thank you for being here. Oh. I appreciate it so oh, much. Oh, thank you. It's good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks.